Well, Box Elder County Commissioner is back from a visit to the White House with President Trump. His experience with the health care system is what caught the attention of our commander in chief. And as Northern Utah specialist Mike Anderson explains, his story could help shape a replacement for the Affordable Care Act. Mike? Yeah, Mike, you know, it's surprising to some that a uh, Box Elder County family is being pulled into this very heated debate, but County Commission Chair Stan Summers says the changes, the rising costs that he's seen over the years make it pretty clear that something needs to change. While you can't ignore the excitement of just being there. And you just looked at us and said, hey, you guys want to? Go take some pics in the Oval Office. Box Elder County Commission Chair Stan Summers says it's what happened before this that he hopes will make a difference. My deductible has went up huge. I used to have a $100 or $500 deductible, but I'm on a health savings program now. And my deductible is $6,000. So it's gone through the roof. Summers was one of about 20 people handpicked from around the country to share their health care stories with President Trump and Vice President Pence. His son, Talon, has a very rare disease that hardens the tissues from the inside out and can shut down organs. My wife's at home with him probably 90% of the time. Um, I'm too busy working, trying to keep our head above water with insurance and just bills and everything else. Summers says rising costs have pushed him to take on three jobs. And he says changes that came after the Affordable Care Act was put in place have made it difficult to get certain drugs and treatment. Apparently because of the ACA there was certain guidelines to be on hospice and uh, he wasn't meeting those guidelines so they kicked us off of hospice basically because he wasn't dying quick enough. But while he believes Trump and Pence were sincere in wanting to help, he's concerned about Congress's ability to work together. I would hope that they would be able to get through party lines and and not worry about who's going to get reelected and who's not going to get reelected and actually do the right thing. And Summers is heading back to Washington, D.C. Uh, later this week on an unrelated engagement. But he says while he's there, he'll be talking to some of our representatives in Congress about some of those same health care concerns. Back to you. All right, Mike Anderson, live for us this evening in Box Elder County. Mike, thank you. Deanie?